Good morning students. Welcome back to your computer lecture. In this video, we will cover the remaining part of chapter number 2. So I request all the students to kindly be ready with their computer workbook and a pencil. Let us begin. So in during our class sessions, we learned about the types of memory from the second chapter. These are the examples of the secondary memory like hard disk, pen drive, blu-ray disk, floppy disk, SD card. Right? Then we covered the types of computer memory, right? primary memory, secondary memory. Primary memory is divided into RAM and then ROM. RAM stands for random access memory. ROM stands for read-only memory. This is just a refresher or a recap that we are doing. Right? Here then we saw the function of the ALU which stands for arithmetic logic unit. Right? The CPU comprises of different components. ALU, control, control unit and memory. This is just a pictorial format for you all to recollect. We will continue further from page number 13. The work of CPU goes as under. We will cover from here. So let us continue. The work of CPU goes as under. The information or program received from the input device first comes to the CPU. It is stored in the RAM memory. According to the instructions from the control center, the processing is done on the information in the logical arithmetic center. The processed information is again sent to the memory. This information is kept on the hard disk or shown on the screen or printed on the printer. Right? So as we saw, the working of the CPU Whatever the user inputs the information using an input device like keyboard, mouse, scanner, etc. From the input device, it goes to the central processing unit. From here, the information is processed and depending upon the type of information that we are looking for, whether it's a logic or calculations or any other information that we may be looking for, the CPU will process it and then it will be sent back to the output devices like the printer, monitor, speakers depending upon the source or the information that we are looking for. Right now this information we can save it on hard disk to save a copy or if you don't require this information we can simply close the page. So let's see what is a monitor. The information supplied to the computer is seen on the monitor. The processed information is also seen on the monitor. The information supplied by the keyboard or the mouse to the computer can also be seen on the monitor. The monitor is in black and white like the screen of the television. The monitor is available in 15, 17, 21 inch size. There are some buttons on it. These buttons are for starting the monitor, for brightening or dimming it and to reduce or increase the intensity of the colors. At the time we can see about 25 lines on the monitor. There are 80 letters in one line. The small dots by which the monitor is made up of are called pixel. So here it is explaining about the monitor. What is a monitor? It's nothing but it's a display unit. It's an output device which looks like a television. As in the picture towards your right you can see it is like a television. Usually the monitors in olden days were black and white. As we all know students, we may, in today's generation, we have color displays. 
However, in olden days, we initially began with two colors, black and white. Now, the monitors are av available in color display as well. And the sizes vary from 15, 17, 21. It, grow, it goes on increasing as well. However, these are the standard size. 15, 17, 21 inch. And these monitors have buttons. Now we have touch screens like sensor touch. Let's take a look at this example. A closer look. This is a CRT monitor. Now what does CRT? CRT stands for cathode ray tube and in this type of monitors a beam of light used to pass through the back end to the front end on the display this is just for you to know what are the types of monitors available now these type of monitors were heavy and they were difficult to carry so we came up with a advancement we did some technological advancement and we came up with the flat panel display monitors we all have seen these monitors in our computer lab right we also have televisions at home which are flat panel again students this is just for your knowledge flat panel also it's further divided into LCD and LED you may have heard these terms what is LCD? LCD? LCD stands for liquid crystal display and LED stands for light emitting diode. We will learn this in higher standards and in details about the monitors or the other devices of the computer. For now, this is just to just as a good to know information. The next one is the mouse. The earlier computers could be worked without the mouse. Now however because of the windows programs the use of mouse has become inevitable. This is made up of plastic. The shape is rectangular. To its buttons there is a rubber covered ball. This ball can be moved and hence the mouse can also be moved at the required place. Because of the movement of this ball, the arrow on the monitor also moves. Mouse is joined to the computer by a wire. Generally, there are three buttons to the mouse. Alright, so this is a mouse. The next device that we are looking at here is a mouse. We all have been to the practical lab students. We all have touched the mouse. We all have used it. However, just to let you know more in details about the mouse. In earlier computers, before the introduction or before the Windows program were introduced, working on a computer without a mouse was possible. But when the Windows operating system was launched, the use of mouse also became inevitable. Now, inevitable means unavoidable, unchangeable, or we cannot escape using a mouse. The construction of a mouse. How is a mouse made? It is generally made up of plastic, hard plastic. It looks, the shape is in rectangle. It's a rectangular in shape. And there are three buttons. Three buttons by that I mean to say Two buttons, one button to the left, one button to the right, and the center is the wheel. Now in earlier mouse, there was a scroller wheel, like the mouse wheel, underneath. Whenever you used to move the mouse, you could feel the sensation or the vibration of the wheel. Nowadays, we have laser mouse. Wherein the movement of the mouse is through the laser or the light. Take a look. 
this will explain you in a better way right a mouse consists of the left button right button and a scroll wheel so we will continue reading generally there are three buttons to the mouse out of this the left button is used most if the button of the mouse is pressed and is released immediately it is known as clicking the mouse is used for playing games drawing pictures etc right so as we see a three button um, sorry two buttons left button right button and the scroll wheel of this three most commonly we use the left button and as you can see when we use the mouse and press the button once and release it it is known as a clicking like when we do it once it is known as single click when we do it twice immediately it's known as double click mouse again is an input device so apart from the other uses it is used for playing games drawing pictures etc and we the most eminent or the most prominent use of the mouse is to control the movement of the mouse or the mouse pointer or the cursor on the screen let us read further the storing parts of the computer the main part the main parts of storing the information are the floppy disk and the hard disk yeah, so now we are looking at the storage devices the storing parts so generally what are the devices used for storing the data floppy disk and hard disk now as we saw earlier in the picture the types of secondary memory includes hard disk floppy disk pen drives then cds compact disk then dvds which are known as digital vers versatile disk then we have blu ray disk these are the various examples of storage devices in your syllabus or in this chapter there are only two so let's take a look at let's take a look at these two storing devices or the storing parts the first one is the floppy disk this is a round shaped plastic plate on its plastic there is a thin layer of the magnetic material on both the sides on the outside of this disk there is a protective coating of plastic by which the floppy is guarded from dust water etc besides the magnetic layer is also safeguarded because of this magnetic layer the information can be written on the floppy right so what is a floppy disk as you can see in the picture towards your right this is how a floppy disk looks like now the outer covering is made up of hard plastic however if you may have seen a floppy disk then you also see there is a black magnetic strip if not then i'm sure you may have seen a debit card like from your parents or your brothers or your elder brothers or any in the any member of your family you may have seen a debit card and right? on the back of the debit card there is a black strip these strips are known as magnetic strips on which the data is printed or it's written so the same technology was used in floppy disk and as it says on the there is a thin layer of magnetic material on both the sides right so this magnetic material or magnetic strip is where the data is written or it's copied now to cover that magnetic strip on the outside of the disk there is a protective coating by coating of plastic right so this helps the inner part of the floppy disk from dust water or any direct sunlight let's see what are the or what are the further instructions 
while using the floppy must be kept straight care should be taken that the magnetic layer is not scraped off no things of any weight should be kept on it so these are the safeguarding information or the protecting guidelines how to take care of a floppy disk here it says floppy must be kept straight care should be taken that the magnetic layer is not scraped off no things of any weight should be kept on it right? these desks are delicate though the covering of the outer part is made up of plastic it is still delicate you must keep the floppy disk straight whenever you are using it and you should also ensure that the magnetic layer is not scraped off scraped off by any scratches or any damage to the magnetic magnetic strip should not be done because that may damage the entire floppy disk or it may spoil the data that we may want to store or we or we may have stored on the floppy disk let's continue further the bin of using the floppy in the computer is called as the floppy drive floppy is available in different shapes and storing capacities right so this line explains where do we insert the floppy disk there is a space which is known as the floppy drive or the floppy disk drive fdd floppy disk drive floppies are available in different sizes and different storing capacities now though these devices were introduced earlier floppies are still in use however the storing capacities is not that great but we still prefer to use floppy disk to carry sensitive information or any confidential information of limited size this is the closer look of a floppy disk this is how a floppy disk looks like let's read the next storing device hard disk this is permanently fixed in the cpu box of the computer all the important programs on the computer are stored on this nowadays hard disk of 80 gb storing capacity are available while preparing the disk it is made airtight or hermetic by air prevention machine therefore it is called as the winchester disk a disk in a sealed unit in addition to this by using the high technology the optical disk and dvd are also constructed for using them to store information so in this paragraph it's talking about hard disk and the various types of hard disk available and how the hard disk is made we all have seen a hard disk or at least heard about hard disk right hard disk are used to store permanent data unless and until the user deletes it now there are two types of hard disk one the internal hard disk which are permanently attached or they are fixed in the cpu box the cpu cabinet and the second type of hard disk available are known as external hard drives or external hard disk which can be connected to the computer or the cpu cabinet through a usb cable so remember two types of hard disk external and internal internal hard disk are connected to the motherboard directly and external hard disk can be connected externally using a usb cable Uh, here it says hard disk are available of 80 gb storing capacities now with the, again with the advancement the technological advancement now the hard disk are available with a storing capacity up to 1 terabytes gb like gigabytes tb means terabytes 
तो वन थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर जी बी इज इक्वल टू वन टेराबाइट सो इमेजिन स्टूडेंट्स यर इट्स मैंशन नाव डेज नाव डेज हार्ड डेस्क ऑफ एटी जी बी स्टोरिंग कैपेसिटी आर अवेलेबल सो इफ यू जस्ट राइट वन जीरो टू फोर जी बी दैट इज इक्वल टू वन टेराबाइट सो इन टूडेज जनरेशन वी हैव आर डिस्क अवेलेबल अप टू वन टेराबाइट और इवन मोर देन दैट सो इमेजिन द स्टोरिंग कैपेसिटी ऑन दिस डिवाइस और ऑन दिस टाइप ऑफ हार्ड डिस्क वाइल प्रिपेयरिंग दिस डिस्क इट इज मेड एयर टाइट वी ऑल हैव हर्ड अबाउट एयर टाइट कंटेनर्स राइट वी जनरली यूज दैम टू स्टोर लाइक बिस्किट्स और snacks which may be saved from spoiling now air tight containers as it says air tight it doesn't allow the air to pass or any kind of moisture or any kind of climatic condition that may damage the product right we see air tight containers similarly even a hard disk when it's made it is made air tight hermetic by air prevention machine hermetic again it's nothing but it's another word for air tight or a seal or a conceal which prevents waterproof it doesn't allow the water to enter that is why hard disks are also called as winchester disk what is a winchester disk a disk in a sealed unit you will understand when you look at this picture take a look this is how the internal part of a hard disk looks like so as you can see there is a circular disk and then there is again a triangular shaped right like a device now again to share this information as a knowledge like just a good to know information the circular disk are also known as magnetic disk and the device or the pattern through which the data is written is known as the platter our disk is divided into various sectors tracks and these are all the detail or in depth knowledge about the construction of a hard disk which will be covered in your higher standards so that is why to avoid spoiling of this disk or platter or sectors this devices or these hard disk are made air tight or hermetic this is how a hard disk looks like so when you look at the hard disk this is how you will see it however when you open it this is how you will find it the internal structure so to prevent any moisture or any damage to this devices these devices are concealed like it's air tight in addition to this by using the high technology the optical disc and dvd are also constructed for using them to store the information like i told you all the types of secondary storage devices even cd falls in secondary storage we all have seen cd we all may have used the cd to store data to listen to songs to watch movies right now cd is also come with a limited capacity the technology that is used to write data on these cds or dvds is through the optical laser that's why these are also known as optical disc for you all you may be feeling like these terms are very hard to understand but don't worry students these are just to know as good to know information for you all we can cover this part when we do our practical sessions and when we go move on with the higher standard the syllabus we will have in depth knowledge about these all devices so these are the various parts of the computer generally hardware are divided into sectors like
the hardware components are divided into the input devices output devices storage devices and processing devices input devices include keyboard mouse scanner etc output device includes monitor speaker printer storage devices includes hard disk cds dvds pen drives processing device processing device includes the motherboard the cpu etc so these are the various components or various parts of the computer right so with this we complete our chapter number 2 as well so i request all the students to kindly complete their notes of all the four chapters chapter 1 chapter 2 chapter 3 i'm sorry chapter 4 and chapter 5 i repeat chapter number 1 chapter number 2 chapter number 4 and chapter number 5 i will send you all the revision notes all right students until our next lecture thank you very much for your time take care of yourself be healthy be safe thank you once again have a nice day